Hey everybody, this is Lainey, and welcome back to History Highlights with Lainey. Hope you all are well. In today's video, I will give you a little bit of history of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. The Civil Rights Act of 1964, which ended segregation in public places and banned employment discrimination on the basis of race, color, religion, sex, or natural, natural origin is considered one of the crowning legislation achievements of the Civil Rights Movement. First proposed by President John F. Kennedy after the death of Mega Evers in 1963. But there was strong opposition to the movement from Southern members of Congress. Congress expanded the act and passed additional civil rights legislation such as the Voting Rights Act of 1965. Following the Civil War, a trio of constitutional amendments abolished slavery, which was the 13th Amendment, made the formerly enslaved people citizens, which was the 14th Amendments, Amendment, and gave all men the right to vote regardless of race, which was the 15th Amendment. Nonetheless, many states, particularly in the South, used poll taxes, literacy tests, and other measures to keep their African-American citizens disenfranchised. They also enforced strict segregation through Jim Crow laws and condoned violence from white supremacist groups such as the Ku Klux Klan. For decades after Reconstruction, the U.S. Congress did not pass a single Civil Rights Act. Finally, in 1957, it established a civil rights section for justice for the Justice Department, along with a commission of civil rights to investigate discriminatory conditions. When John F. Kennedy entered the White House in 1961, he initially delayed supporting new anti-discrimination measures. But with the protests springing up throughout the South, including the one in Birmingham, Alabama, which was known as Bloody Sunday, where police brutality suppressed nonviolent demonstrators with dogs, clubs, and high pressured fire hose, Kennedy decided to act. In June 1963, he proposed by far the most comprehensive civil rights legislation to date, saying the United States will not be fully free until all its citizens are free. Kennedy was assassinated that November, November 22nd to be exact, in Dallas, Texas, after which the new president, Lyndon Baines Johnson, immediately took up the civil rights cause. Under the Civil Rights Act of 1964, segregation on the grounds of race, religion, or natural origin was banned at all places of public accommodations, including courthouses, parks, restaurants, theaters, sports arenas, and ho hotels. No longer could black people and other minorities be denied service simply based on the color of their skin. Civil rights leader Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said that the Civil Rights Act of 1964 was nothing less than a second emancipation. The Civil Rights Act was later expanded to bring disabled American, elderly, and women under its umbrella. It also paved the way for two follow-up laws, the Voting Rights Act of 1965, which prohibited literacy tests such as how many bubbles are in a bottle of soap and other discriminatory voting practices and 
the Fair Housing Act of 1968, which banned discrimination in the sale, rental, and financing of property. The Civil Rights Act was signed into law on July 2nd, 1964 by President Lyndon Baines Johnson. So there you have a little bit of history on the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Be well, stay safe, and stay in peace, not pieces. Hit that bell so you will know every time I upload a video. Word of the year, peace, peace. Deuces, see you soon.